Hello, everybody. Are we live? Okay. Sorry about that. Um, thank you for letting me know. That would have been a shame. Not necessarily, though. Hello. Now there's a buzz, isn't there? Let's try line two. Okay, now we're rolling. Now we're rolling. How does that sound? Better? All of a sudden I had great trouble with uh, the mic or the zoom or something. Okay, good enough? Okay, this should be fine. Okay. Sorry about that, folks. Uh, okay. Does anybody want to learn a downfall? I was just, uh, uh, Downfall by Children of Bodom popped up in my YouTube uh, thingy this morning. Nobody ever thinks I do. <coughs> um, hey, so yes, check this out first. We got a bit of a show and tell today. Uh, let's go to our show and tell cam. Hey, David. Hey, glad you could make it. Until you have to go to work. Well, um, you came just in time. We've got some special treats. One is um, Josh Curry's new bocce. Um, his premium one is over there. Let's see, I, I sanded it down um, to be the same specs as my favorite bocce. And it's, so now it's very nice. Um, your fingers wrap around it um, just enough. It hooks onto the, um, the joint right there, or that little, the little line in your finger right there. I'll be sending this back to Josh uh, at some point, and then he'll use this as his template, as it were. Um, Oh, Josh, by the way, I ended, I ended up rounding uh, the sides of this. I told you that, um, you know, it should be more, you know, very, very little bevel, but actually then, yeah, my fingers started hurting. Uh, so yeah, actually, as you had it, having it round is very luxurious and doesn't hinder as I thought it would, or I thought it might. Um, but yeah. Oh, and also, here's something cool. Uh, if you watched Mike... Switch cams. If you watch the live stream that Mike and I did, we noticed that uh, the heavier bocce had a, sh a kind of a clearer, sharper tone. But I noticed something as I played with it longer, is that the acrylic, which is a bit stiffer than Beckel, than the shell, um, it's, it sounds great, of course, and it is nice to play, but it is stiffer. And the combination of a heavier, heavier handle with the stiffer blade um, is really tiring on the hand and doesn't actually make that good of a sound. No, no, no. It makes a great sound, but um, I guess yeah. The um, you can't. It's imbalanced in a way. Heavy handle, stiff blade is imbalanced. And I realize why. Uh, I think Yoshida Kyodai, they have a very light bachi and a very stiff um, beckle and a very stiff blade, I think. Whereas uh, the Nita, Oyako and such, they have a 
quite a heavy handle, but a very, very um, flexible blade. And that's how it balances. So, um, I, as I kind of re-realized, so this is uh, Josh's other bocce, which doesn't have any weight in it. And I, when thinning, it, thinning this down, it made it even lighter. So that combination made it only, not made it uh, both sound great and a very easy playing experience, uh, compensating for the stiffer bocce, stiffer blade. <laughs> not quite as clear crisp as the other one but if you're not comparing it sounds really nice well, only those only things like that really stand out when you're have it side by side but you have nothing to compare it sounds really nice well Carl as you know orange is the new black Oh, Joel, uh, Joel, best place to send Shamisen Live suggests, uh, really anywhere. You could send it, uh, comment it, or just email me, I guess, eventually. And questions for the new podcast. Yeah, same thing. Both of those uh, email me or post on Facebook thing or whatever. Um, later on, we're going to have a section on Bachido that has... A lot, all the live, an archive of the live videos, as well as a place where you can easily suggest ideas and have it public and such. Uh, Coma, Connor, the Coma is also made by Josh. Curry, it sounds really nice. It's all wood. Um, and yeah, the Maple Coma. And yeah, I would really prefer it to the, um, the bone tip which I was using before, thinking that has a nice sharp tone, but as uh, Mike mentioned in the last one, it has kind of an envelope, as it were. It's loud, quiet, loud, or it has this kind of a springy quality, which I really like. Oh, Carl, did you get my Orange is the New Black reference? I thought you probably might. Next uh, thing to show. So, um, let's see. Uh, <laughs> oops. Okay. Uh, so, next thing. Um, as I might have mentioned, bachi, they get slippery. And I think I said that last two years, last year, uh, Shamisen concert that Regen Masahiro Aki Tenten. Mike, Kevin, and myself did. It was a very humid, sweaty room. And I was the only one who had a bachi gomu, the rubbery grip. And yet I was the only one whose bachi slid as I was playing. Everyone else was playing just fine. Why is that? Perhaps I have sweatier hands than the rest of them do. Um, but 
needless to say, the goal move wasn't working, so I removed it. Not using the goal move fixed my technique a little bit. However, when playing in Shvedi uh, circumstances, situations, uh, it continued to s slip. And you know, during, during a heavy piece, this would just ride up. You know, my hand would just ride up here, and I, n I wouldn't be have the opportunity to bring it back down. So, um, I've always been wondering how I fixed that. However, recently, a friend of mine suggested uh, she's a climber kind of person, rock climbing. Uh, she had this stuff she wasn't using anymore called Power Liquid Liquid Chalk. And um, basically, before the performance, I put it on my hand. She said it, it dries and it's like a chalk, so it kind of keeps the sweat from becoming a factor. Um, I didn't know it would dry white, so it wasn't the most attractive look when uh, shaking fans, hands, shaking fans, hands, and kissing babies and such. Um, however, you don't have to put it over your whole hand like I did. Um, just putting it on the fingertips like here, maybe a little bit right there. Uh, boom. Putting it along here and here, just where the botch is gonna be in contact with, it really helped. I was very surprised that, yeah, it just kept it in place. It wasn't sticky, but um, it prevented my hand from being slippery. So this is very effective. Power liquid by Pel Petzl Liquid Chalk. Check that out if you're uh, trying to simply like Joel, I think you might. I'm not sure how your hands are sweat-wise, but because um, I know that you perform with it pretty regularly, you might find that interesting, as well as everybody else. Okay, next thing, final thing before we get started. Use the bottle as a bocce. Well, let's give it a try. Oh. Kevin Metz next. Is Kevin here? Oh, Kevin's not here. Uh, okay. Uh, oh, yeah. Well, if Kevin wants to come down to Santa Cruz, he's definitely welcome to join in. Carl, I think enough time has passed. Um, okay, that worked. Next? No. Uh, okay, next, yes. Uh, so today, this morning proved a little tumultuous, as it were. I've been putting in the black, I mean the uh, snakewood itamaki. New podcast, Will Bachi. Hey, that's a good. Um, it's a great idea, Joel. I think we'll do that actually sometime. It's getting close here. So yeah, these are the new uh, Snakewood Ebony Itomaki. Uh, starry. These two f went in perfectly well. This, these are the first two I did. And being the first ones, I took extra time. Um, use a combination of the belt sander, uh, not the belt sander, the bench grinder with the pegs so I could have it at a nice even angle and just turn it as the peg um, and ground down and then finishing off with sandpaper. So they're nice um, and tight. Um, tight, but then also easily easy to turn as well. This one I did this morning and, you know, they, there's a saying, be as careful at the end as at the beginning. Well, with this one, I got impatient or such. I used the bench grinder too much. And next thing I knew, it was a bit tight on this side. But on this side where it counts, it was completely boro boro. Just, uh, com there was, I don't know, half a millimeter of gap or something. So it would rock. 
oh, and not in a good way. So that was a little disheartening, to say the least. And it probably costs to get another piece of snake wood like this with the ebony and such. I used up all the material, so it cost at least $60 to get more. And I kind of want to move on. Uh, however, oh, so let's see, I was putting in the uh, rosin powder because that's been kind of an easy fix, uh, easy way to fix uh, loose itamaki. Basically, it's violin rosin, which I will show here. Violas, violin rosin that's ground up into a powder, don't snort it, um, and then just with tweezers, fitting in it into the hole while the, zag, while the itamaki is still in there, like right here, pinching it in on this side, um, and then twisting it, and that can kind of uh, a little crunch, crunch, and then it fits in the gaps. However, even that, it was the gap was so great that it tightened it up, but I knew it's just going to slip out again. So uh, five minutes before we started the live stream, I put the liquid chalk, power liquid, in the uh, hole. That made it quite slippery, much worse. But with the power liquid base combined with the rosin powder on top of it, it's, wow, it's tighter than any of these other itamaki. Almost a little too tight. No, it's doable. I won't. I won't uh, complain. Yeah, now it won't be a problem at all. So, whew, that was a lucky save. But in any case, that's done. We got our salati here. All we have to do is wait for uh, Kiju Kun um, to send back the dough, which he's he skinned it with the ripple. And then we can put it together and string it up. My only worry is that the only thing, the only possible setback is um, the action, because the action is set quite low. So that it's possible some parts could be buzzy at certain spots, which means I take the sandpaper and take out any of that, which would be a shame to uh, scratch the lacquer, but that's okay. That's okay, 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 okay. Now time to move on to our epic drill thingy. Let's see, rosin, raisins, what's the difference? Exactly. With raisins. Okay. Without further ado, here we go. Um, oops, this can. Okay, so this is a little um, sample of a mini song I'm going to play to show, to teach at Shami Camp Tokyo. Uh, it won't be exactly the same, but you can get a taste of what it'll be if you decide to come. So, um, each note, I demonstrate this on the Facebook Live thing, I believe. We are in Niagari, key of C. Um, and... Um, every note is going to be down up. Strike down, scooey up. <clears throat> so when I when I say one note, that will mean down up. So first note will be seven. When I say seven, it's gonna be seven, seven. Like that. Seven, zero, sound like toe. Six, sound like toe. Shamisen skin. You know, uh, there's a fellow Tomo in Sapporo who's a kind of a. Do I want to get into that? No, I don't think I do. He was trying to get me to eat the Shamisen skin. Uh, and of course, I know it's 
treated with chemicals and such, but he said, oh, just go, go for it. It's okay. You can do it. Or it's, it's, it's no harm. So I said, you eat it. And he shook his head. Uh, I lost my train of thought. Okay. We're switching camps. Oops. Okay. Here we go. Then, Nino Ito, zero. We'll just repeat that. Oops. Um, of course, if you have any questions, let me know. Josh, I just noticed the uh, Sunday toe keeps popping up. Maybe it has to be made a little deeper. Anywho, um, nine, seven, nine, zero, seven. Then instead of, because that's out of the key, we're going to do open Sunday toe. something happen? My um, Google thing crashed. Sorry about that. So let's go back and forth. Seven. part for me in making that was alternating between having that on the Nino toe for the da da and then going up here having on the Sano toe so yeah once you get that it becomes easier 
tips on execution of Scooby. Um, pull up with the arm. Feel this going up. Arm goes up. Feel your index finger. Tug. Actually, let me switch to the sharp side, see how that goes. Actually, boy, hmm. Hey, Josh, you know, it's easier doing, Scooby is easier with a sharper uh, bevel. I, I kept one side rounded and then one side sharp. Um, it, it feels more uh, comfortable having the rounded side on the ring and pinky on the ring and middle finger and such. If it could be have a deeper bevel here, but then get sharper where the index finger is, uh, boy, that would be pretty cool. Because having it sharp there does help with the squee a lot. Anywho. Um, oh, uh, let's see. Which fingers are putting the most pressure on the bachi? Really, none of them should, but I guess naturally the pinky and the ring finger, because they're just naturally wanting to come together, so that puts a little pressure. But there really shouldn't be anything. Oh, when doing scooey. To do a good squee, um, getting the angle, actually, getting the angle right means that pressure will be evenly distributed and you don't have to um, actually grip it any harder. So I think by have, keep having the bocce more parallel, not 100% flat, of course, but more parallel helps with that. So when I'm doing that here, I don't feel um, any extra pressure being um, forced anywhere, or being, uh, I don't feel any difference between downstroke. It naturally tugs a little bit, but nothing I have to adjust for it. Uh, Kyle, why play Sanuito again as the last bit instead of Ninoito? Instead of, you mean, you could, doesn't sound a little dissonant though? Um, Johnny, let's see how, it, let's see the difference with the uh, shabo. Because when you're, when you're striking down, ooh, when you're striking down, or when I'm striking down, I feel my middle finger, my fingers, on the skin as well. Not up or anything. I'm. F those are in contact when I'm striking down. I'm feeling it on my leg too. It's hitting there. But that should work. Um, okay, next part. I think we're uh, we're doing this. We're moving right along. So. Next will be. Um, Four, four, six, sharp. Mm -hmm. 
then Ninuito, sorry, that was Ninuito. Sanuito, our middle finger on four. Here's something I'll show you in a moment, Shell. Um, here's something for our fingers. Oh. Um, let's see. So our middle finger will be for when we our middle finger will be used for the sami to four. But until then, we can do like this: middle ni no ito. And then at this point, slide your index finger right next to the middle finger. Like that. It's a little awkward, but eh, get used to it. It gets smoother. thing about this drill is you can take each one individually and just repeat it over and over again. Like... As much as you want. two strings? That's a good question. Uh, why, why not an open sonuito? Okay, can you just bar? Um, oh, that's a good idea, Josh. Yeah, you can do that. <laughs> um, yeah. strike though um, both strings it will be sharp and four so you can't really bar but you can slide up I uh, yeah great um, great adjustment oops I haven't eaten yet um, a great idea so Four, six, four, sharp, uh, four, six, sharp, four. And then you slide your in index finger up. So. Yeah. Sure, yeah, that, that works just fine. Um, um, why can't you just do the open sunlight toe? Hmm, you could do that. You could do that if you want to. <clears throat> it's a different kind of stretch. We do that. We have to do. Actually, that's not too bad. Uh, zero two sharp, zero two sonoito sharp ninoito, and then pinky four. If you can stretch, that's actually pretty nice. Like that. Cool. 
Uh, next. So we got... That's, oh wait, no. I like that. Johnny has a great idea. <clears throat> um, okay, uh, okay, Johnny Pete's has his shovel. Let's do this one more time from the top and then we'll move on to the next section. Um, seven and. Hey folks, is it still going? Sorry, if something. I'm not sure something crashed. Um, my Google things acting funny or whatnot. Um, so. Next will be basically zero, two, three. Zero, you know, zero. Zero, two, three. However, I like the tone of four ninuito. Um, okay, good. Um, four, two, three. Uh, this is C, uh, niagari, Karen. Four, two, three, zero. Um, you can have it open, ninuito. But I would just keep that four for the last one. Four, two, three, zero, four, two, three, four. Um, next, might as well. Next will be sharp, zero, two, a sharp ninuito, sanuito open, two. Four. Just repeat. Uh, repeat. I figure Carl will have a pun for that. Go for it, Carl. You got this. And then from there, we can just go back to seven again.
Hey, you know what? Come on, bro. Um, this will be the subject of uh, this month's. Oh, the month is almost over. This next three weeks, whenever. Uh, Shamisen Live contest. Let's use this song. Um, blah, blah, blah. Uh, let's use this song as the subject. So, both folks, folks who are listening. Oh, thank you for joining, David. Hey, David. Um, join the Shamisen Live contest. This will be our theme song for it. Everybody, do as best as you can on this song. Any speed is fine, slow, medium, fast, whatever you're comfortable with. Just record yourself doing it, put it on YouTube, uh, share it to the Bachido Facebook community, a hashtag Shamisen Live Contest, you're in. I'll have certainly more swag for you. Um, yeah, it'll be fun. Oh yeah, add improvisation on the riff if you want. Doesn't have to be exactly the same. If you want to bring in the each note toe, that's great practice. drill to Reagan uh, just came to mind and then I said she'll use this for the uh, mini song thing for the most part it's good um, I'll be composing um, different levels for it something simpler of course um, but also he suggests he wanted a bit more each uh, the squeeze thing is easier of course on these strings but much more difficult He's got that thick string really tugging at the bachi. I'm downstroke. Squee, sonoto. Perfect. Open nino toe. Four. Three. Thank uh you. -huh. 
tricky. Um, okay, well that's my... Uh, this was the main one. Any questions? That's all the material, material I prepared for today. Of course I'll be making the uh, notation for that, for the uh, Patreon thing. This is really tricky uh, to keep it smooth and consistent because we're bringing our uh, index finger back and forth. Oh no, we can put our middle finger on two sonito and our index finger on two each each note. Uh, four, three. This will be down, up, down, up. Four, three, two, zero. Two, zero, sharp, two, two, zero, sharp, two, two, zero, sharp, two, four, three, two, zero. Three, three, four, three, four, three, four, three, four. previous thing. idea to make this more fun to play. What do you mean? It's not tons of fun already? Kidding. Uh, and practice more common shamis and stuff. Oh, yes, please tell us. Instead of playing two sixteenth notes on each, play first an eighth note, then two sixteenth note, like bam ba dum. Oh, interesting. Hmm. And that would be like the same note, like three three three, or over oh, the same thing. Oh, the squeak. With the squeak. Like that. Carl, I don't quite understand, but I would like to understand. 
streams, yeah. Where's some, yeah, that'd be great to have. It like a gallop beat, is it? Okay with that? Guys, um, make some videos. I'd like to make sure I'm getting it just right. Oh, horse galloping sounds. Horse galloping sounds. Yeah, Carl, post it. <laughs> Please. Have you seen, you must have seen uh, Kevin Metz's 
I think he does like Iron Maiden different uh, metal covers. He used to have a shamisen metal band, sh metal band called uh, God of Shamisen. Uh, you should check that out if you haven't seen that yet. Yeah. Um, check out Downfall by Children of Bodom, Carl's favorite band. Uh, the main riff there would work well, I think. I had done a, a Red Light in My Eyes, part one. I covered just the first chord, chord of that. That's a good one. Yeah, he's 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 pretty he's he's the stuff for sure. It's cool to see that they've been um, they've kind of you know like a lot of bands they go through their their drug and kind of wild years and apparently as they say they they did it all, but they're still I guess. I don't know, however many years ago, Alexi was like just before going on stage, like vomiting blood or something, and he realized, you know, is this why I'm, is this why I'm here? You know, am I doing this for the drinking or am I doing this for the music? And then finally realized, I'm doing it for the music. So he kind of cleaned up, and it seems like they've been they've been going on twenty years and no sign of quitting. So it's kind of neat to see groups when they kind of grow up but still but still play I think um, on that happy note yeah Kevin has done that too well <laughs> uh, when he stays in Japan he does that bring him back to California and look out uh, that's uh, neither here nor there uh, yeah uh, Josh there's we don't have it at the store oh yeah Joel has it um, there is a particular piezoelectric pickup that sticks to the skin right here. Um, of course, there is howling kind of issues, uh, depending on where you have it placed and where you are from the speaker, the amp. But that works pretty well to test stuff, some stuff out. I would like to get a fully electric one, too. Okay, well, um, thank you all for joining. I've run out of material, as you can tell. Um, yes, this will be the contest for this uh, next 30 days or something, unless we think of something better. Um, it doesn't have to exactly be what we've just done. Um, add some improv, or as Carl suggested, a different beat, the gallopy beat, or whatever you want to do. Um, winner will get some swag, some CDs, uh, buttons, stickers, patches. Um, any extra stuff I have around the house. That'll be fun. Uh, have fun with that. Oh, Ninjari Ban Ban. Haven't done that in a while. The... You know who's done that on a plane? Carl Headland, who's here right now. We did that all on a plane together in Misawa. done it since then. Kevin, we want some KPP. You tell him. We're all we're on the. Um, he's on the Bachido Facebook page. Just uh, do the at sign Kevin Masaya Metz. We want some KPP for when he eventually comes to the stream. Yeah, exactly. He he's always puts going as uh, under the invite thingy. He never comes. Josh, yeah, that's uh, Ninjari Banban, more or less. 
the song is better on Shamisen for sure. Um, okay, thank you all for joining. This was a lot of fun. Um, have fun with the uh, the drill. See you next week, I think. Uh, yeah, Josh, we'll be in touch about this stuff. Everybody look for it. Oh, hey, uh, Mike Penny and I, we are making a, a sketch video, which is kind of fun. So that'll be coming tomorrow or today or something. So hilarity to look forward to podcast as well. Okay, see everybody. Off.